Alright YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to use your MacBook Wi-Fi to as a wireless adapter for your Xbox 360. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and open up your router configuration page. Now if you don't know how to do that, you need to look on the bottom of your router and it will give you an IP address. Most of the time it will say 192.168.1.1 so if that's what it says, go ahead and enter that into your address bar on Safari. So in my case it is 192.168.1.1 and it will ask for a name and a password. So that will also be shown on the bottom of your router or in your manual. So go ahead and open that or enter that. Unless you've actually changed the password then you know what it is. Which I have changed my password because I... Yeah, I'm just obsessive compulsive about that. So now we need to go ahead and go to the status menu on your router. And we need to find your primary IP address. In most cases this will be under WAN. So in my case it's 71.59.190.20. So be sure to write that down. And then we can go ahead and close Safari. Now we need to open System Preferences, which I have open here, and we need to click Network. So, normally it will say using DHCP. Actually, no. You'll be under. You'll be under a screen that looks like that. So, under the Show tab, we need to change that to built-in Ethernet. And the default setting for configure IPv4 is using DHCP. We need to change that to manually. And we need to enter 10.0.0.1 for our IP address. And our subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. And we need to go ahead and apply these, this. So now that that's been applied, go back up here and click show all. Now we need to go down to sharing. And it will be on service tab like that. We need to go ahead and click internet. And I'm going to go ahead and stop this for the time being so I can show you how to do everything. So under here it will say share your internet or share your connection from airport. You need if it doesn't say airport you need to change it to airport and you need to turn the built-in ethernet port on. So go ahead and check that box. And so now we need to go ahead and click start. And you need to accept this little thingy. And there you go. Now we need to go to the Xbox. I will go ahead and show you what needs to be done. Give me a second. So go to the system blade on your dashboard and click network settings. Go ahead and go down to edit settings and open your IP settings and click manual. Now you will need to change your IP address to 10 dot zero dot zero dot two I've already done this one and I'm, I'm not going to do that and you'll need to go down and change your subnet mask to 255.255.255.0 and your gateway needs to be 10.0.0.1 and go ahead and save your settings and you'll have to test it to save it and it will fail so because I didn't change any of my settings that didn't take me to the test connection screen so you'll have to exit out of that screen and come back to the network settings screen. So now we need to go down to DNS settings and we need to select manual. For your primary DNS server it is 192.168.1.1 unless you entered something else in Safari to get to your router configuration. For example, if you have a D-Link router, it will most likely be 192.168.0.1. But that doesn't really matter. Just enter what you entered in the address bar on Safari to find out your service provider's IP address. So just enter that. 
but in, this is how it is in my case. So now we need to go down to secondary DNS and enter what you wrote down from Safari. So in my case it is 71.59.184.1 and that will vary for everyone. So that's not going to be exactly right. And go ahead and click done and it will take you to the test settings screen because it will want to save it like the blade on that side will pop open and say hey, test Xbox Live connection. And then you'll go ahead and click that and let it test the entire time. So I need to back out and go test Xbox Live connection. And if all is well, then everything should confirm. So we have our IP confirmed, our DNS has confirmed, our MTU has confirmed, and our ICMP is still working on it, but it's about to confirm. Xbox Live will be connected and NAT will be moderate. So usually NAT is open, but while you're using the MacBook, it's going to be moderate because you're sharing the connection. That's really not a big deal, so don't really worry about it. But if you have noticed that before your NAT is open, that's the reason why connected and moderate, like I told you. And thank you for watching. Sorry about the video being a little choppy. I know I'm going to edit out a bunch of it. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Um, please explain your problem in detail and I will try to help you as much as possible. Feel free to post it in the video or send me a message. If you want to add something to it, feel free to post a video response to. Thanks for watching. Or if you have a problem, you can post a video response to what you've done. Yeah, you get the idea. Thanks for watching.